channel let's move this back some okay so today we're going to be reviewing this hd ultra scalp illusion by bobby boss it's a 13 by 7 deep lace and i have this in cynthia in the color number two Now, I do have a, a couple pros and a couple cons. So the pros of this hair is that the hair is very, very thick. The hair is thick, honey. The hair is thick, the hair is very soft at the top. Now the bottom of this wig loves to tangle loves to tangle the bottom of this wig loves to tangle um in the model she did wear a side part as you guys know this is a 13 by 7 which means you can part this wig definitely different places okay you can definitely part it where you want to part it okay you don't have to stick to this part what i have or whatever part it came with you know so i chose to do a middle part but it looks just as good as the side part so how i installed this wig is i use my got to be glued of course on my edges that I cut and I use with my edge to brush. Um, that's pretty much it, okay? Um, when it comes to the only, that's the, really the only con that I have that the bottom tangles. The bottom does tangle. Um, I had to recurl the bottom and I'm gonna show you how to recurl your wig when your wig does tangle or you know, I'm gonna show you. So all you do is you just brush it out with your brush. This wig does curl on high heat. Oh, my flat iron is on 450. Okay. And I just run it through it like a few times until it gets too hot for me to touch it and then i take my flexi rod so you can also straighten this unit if you want to wear it straight also and i pretty much just wrap it and this is what i do when my hair gets like old you know i just bit pretty much just recurl it or whatever That's all I do. But the hair is very nice. Um, I'm gonna say the first time when I initially put this wig on, I did not like it. So, this only takes a few minutes, as you can see, and you get curls. That simple, that easy. So this that's how you curl your synthetic wigs. You can also use a curling iron and you can use the curling iron um, up to 400 degrees if you want to. But that's how I quickly, like, if my curls get this, this um, interrupted, if my curls get interrupted and it look a little raggly, that's what I do to, like, get it back together really fast. Um, also, um, what was I about to say? Also, um, the hair, it's very soft. Um, like I say, it's just those bottom pieces at the bottom. The hair is very thick. Um, when I first got this wig, the wig was a little bit more textured, like in the how it looks on the mannequin. I mean, not on the mannequin, on the model. You see how the hair looks uh, a little bit more textured. So the hair was like a little bit more textured 
Um, what I did was to get some of the texture out is I just took my um, hot comb and I just ran it through it um, to get some of that texture out because honestly I didn't know that it was a textured wig because in the mannequin the hair was so soft and silky that I didn't know that it was textured until I took it out the pack and I put it on my head and it was textured and it was poofy and nappy and I just really what didn't want uh i'm not gonna say nappy i'm gonna take that back because it wasn't nappy it was just pretty much like really big it was really big and it was really textured and i didn't want uh that that wasn't the look that i was going for i was really going for like a loose curl wave look um and it was really and the curls were really tight like that. So in order for me to get the curls loose like this and the hair more silky, is all I did was run my um, hot comb through it to get it to this look, pretty much. And it really made the hair less textured and it really made the hair um, um, just more silky on the more, it's still textured, which I love. It's just not as textured as it was where it has like those ripples and stuff in it. I don't like that. So yeah, um, cause to me it don't look naturally textured or natural texture or like, or oh, press looks like this. It looks more so like this, not really like rippled, you know? So that's why I took my hot comb and I just, went through it on 450 with my hot comb. And I didn't do it to the enough where the curls were out, I did it to enough where just the texture. So I didn't do it like to get it straight, you know, just to get the texture and the flat and the top out. That's pretty much what I did. And it really worked and, it's, and it looks really beautiful now. Um, I did film when I first got the hair and when I first took it out the package, but unfortunately i lost the footage so um this is basically all i have to show is because pretty much i can't go back and get that style so um so if you but if you really love this wig and you really like uh the style and the 13 by 7 that's what i absolutely love because you can part your hair like all the way back here <laughs> You know, so wait, let me see if I, yeah, all the way back here. This is where that first track starts. So you can part your hair and do a lot of different things, updos, downs, whatever, with this wig. One of the other cons that I do not like is that it comes with that stocking cap on the lace. <sighs> Please stop doing that. So I had to take a razor to get the stocking cap off the lace. And a lot of people, I know a lot of you guys seen those type of wigs that have like the stocking cap on the lace. Um, they're usually called like silk base or um, fake scalp. You know, the silk base is more a different kind of scalp, but it's called mostly fake scalp. If you see a wig that's called fake scalp, you, you ever had a fake scalp wig, you know what I'm talking about. That little um, stocking cap they attach to the lace. So I had to cut that off and that's why my lace looks very uh, more natural. Other than that, you would be able to see that cap and that demarcation if I didn't take that out. So um, that's another con. Um, but other than that, I absolutely love the wig. I love how soft the hair is. I love how flowy it is. You know, it's very flowy, very soft, very beautiful. Um, I love that and my husband absolutely loves it uh, he didn't like it when I first initially installed it uh, the first time because like I said it was poofy and it was like uh, I do have a picture of it but it was really bad so now that I ran my rent when I, I I decided to give it another try and I really love it now and he loves it he said it's actually the best wig I ever had um, so that's a good thing. So, so I wasn't a waste. It wasn't a waste. I did buy this with my own money. So, of course, I paid um, 
a little bit over a hundred dollars because you gotta add taxes and the beauty supply store they do charge you like ten dollars in taxes um online this wig is probably half the price 90 percent i'm almost positive is half the price <laughs> If you get this, if you get this wig online, it's probably only fifty dollars, sixty dollars the most. So, yeah. So that's one reason why I paid so much. I got this at um, Lux Beauty Supply Store. They have a lot of uh, Ultra Scalp Illusion Bobby Boss wigs. Um, they 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 do. So, and they're they're like my favorite beauty supply store now. And yeah. See, look how pretty, it's just so pretty, like, it's pretty. It's giving, it's giving. So, uh, thank you for watching, and gives me, give me a nice thumbs up. And if you really like my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time in my next video. Thank you guys, love you guys so much. Bye.